I'm really big in emotional eating. I had to lose weight and I partnered with Healthy Wage because I like the incentive that Healthy Wage gives you. You can win money while you're meeting your weight loss goals, while you lose the weight that you committed to. Healthy Wage, you have to commit for six months. You have to lose a minimum of 15 pounds. And there's so many people who do it. There's a Facebook group, a support group, because a lot of times when we're going through weight loss, you got to have support. If you don't have people helping you along the way, it's hard to stay on it. So I'm very excited for Vicky to come on so you guys can hear what she had to go through to lose her weight. Vicky lost 150 pounds, 150 pounds. That's no small feat. Anybody who knows about losing weight knows every day you got to make a decision to say no to something and say yes to something better. I love Healthy Wage. The folks there are amazing. Oh, I, I, I can't really emphasize how much Healthy Wage has been like an awesome part of my journey. Reading your journey of mm -hmm. losing weight, I just saw a lot of similarities, uh, you know, in my life because yep. I'm an emotional eater. You talk about being an emotional eater. Yep. And can I ask how much did you weigh before you even started your journey of trying to get healthy and lose weight? Um, I used to be almost 370 pounds. I am five foot 11, so I'm quite tall. Like, I'll right. and show you here. Like, I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'11", so I, I carry most of my weight like down here. I've mm -hmm. always been kind of small on the top. So right. that, pear, that pear shaped kind of, you know, that womanly physique. I, I used to be almost 370 pounds. Yep. What was it at that weight, 370 pounds, that made you say, I just got to change? Pivotal thing for me amongst like life circumstances, like I have two young kids, but the big thing for me where I was at that point in time was I had just lost my grandmother and 10 months before her was her husband passed away, my grandfather. And I'm just like how you were talking about earlier, I'm an emotional eater and I was just mama, like I was sad, happy, whatever, I just ate it. And after she passed away and we were in the process of like doing her estate and like putting you know everything in order, she had like a full length mirror in her bedroom. And I remember standing in front of that mirror and thinking, oh my God, if I don't change, I'm gonna end up just like them. And I lost my mom when I was 16 years old. So I know what it's like to not have a parent like right there. And I didn't want that for my kids. I went down what was familiar with me, what, um, familiar in my mind. And I was like, oh, I know keto. And of course we go searching on YouTube and stuff of like what methods work and stuff. So I was looking on keto and like the different videos and stuff of like tips and stuff. I'm gonna do it my own way and this is gonna be great. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I see this video testimonial about fasting. And I'm like, starving yourself. This is crazy. It this was about guy, intermittent, intermittent fasting. Finding that testimonial and seeing like getting gobsmacked by it and kind of going down that whole, that rabbit hole. But if you ignore your health, it will go away. And I tell people that all the time. And it's so freaking true. Like you have to pay attention to this. I firmly believe our bodies are like multi-million dollar houses that we get to live in. And yeah. if you're going to treat it badly, it's not going to last. When you were on healthy wage, what about being on healthy wage helped you even to keep that commitment? For me, it was knowing that I could go in daily and do the check-ins daily. They have a little community of people that you can converse and stuff with. I've actually made a really great friend. The combination between that community there, seeing that green meter like light up each time, like it's got like a border around like where you should be. And then the green in the middle is like where you're at specifically. So it's kind of like a race or a competition with myself because yes. I always tell people to you never want to compare yourself to anybody else's journey always want to improve on what you were the day before just and continue and it doesn't have to be like catastrophic just little bits little bits but seeing that green meter go like all the way around and that progressive the daily unofficial weigh-ins I love those I love those so so much and I'm going to go back a little bit because I know yep. a lot of people are going okay there's a green meter and it's support yep. but they really don't know what or who healthy wage is. So when you were looking for plans to keep mm -hmm. you on that weight loss journey, mm -hmm. how did you find healthy wage? How was that different from any other diet plan that's out there? For me, seeing the healthy wage ads on Facebook was great. Like to see, I'm a big review 
fan read I love reading reviews like anytime I invest money or make a purchase or anything I always look to see what the reviews are and the reviews looked great and I thought you know this is a great group of individuals and I remember going over to their Instagram page and seeing people that had been tagged with success stories and reading through and deep diving their Instagram pages and seeing like are they legit are they sketchy like what is this all about and seeing it on there what's great that I really liked seeing on the customization page where you put all, all your info and metrics and stuff in that you can choose their different method for what you're for the way that you're losing the weight. Some people do like the calorie counting with Weight Watchers or other methods and keto and paleo, whatever. But it's so customizable for what your method is. And it's very easily adaptable, which to me, that's what fasting was. And it just, it just, whoop easily fit right in like a Swiss army knife. It just complemented my life without complicating it. It was a very, very valuable tool in my tool belt on my journey. Thinking about how when you put the money in for a healthy wager, it's not if you're going to get it back, it's when you're going to get it back. Like, and so mm -hmm. let's, talk about, let's talk about the money aspect mm -hmm. of healthy wage. Yep. Healthy wage, you bet on yourself. Absolutely. You bet a certain amount of money. So what did you have to do? I bet uh, $50 a month is when I found Healthy Wage. I had already been implementing um, intermittent fasting. I did a modest 16-8 method for two weeks. And I was like, whoa, this is great. I lost 21 pounds. Granted, I started at a very high weight. So of course, it came off very quickly. At that two-week point was when I found Healthy Wage. And I was like, oh, dang, this is coming off really good. So I know I can, I know I had a lot to lose. And I put the wager down to lose 150 pounds. Now, I had said, I think it was like nine months when I first started because I gave myself plenty of time. But I went in with the mindset of this is a marathon, not a sprint. So I knew that whatever timeline this ended up being was okay because it was mine. And, you know, putting down the wager each month. And it was something that I saw it as a necessary investment in myself, a big, big investment in myself, obviously the money coming back, but more importantly, that I'm making these changes for myself and our future. And I won, I think I rounded up, it was like $2,020 was my take home. $2,021. 2021. Thank you. <laughs> Everything has come full circle to have that gratification, that sense of accomplishment that I did this for myself and my, my future. Obviously, the pay is fantastic as well. And, you know, where everything was at the time. What's it, what's it like now? How do you feel knowing when you wake up? I feel I have surreal moments throughout the day, every single day where I look down and I'm like, oh, my God, th these are not my legs. This is not my body. Like, yeah, that's me. Like, I did it. Like, this is my this is my normal now. Like, this is maintenance. This is who I am now. What do you think? How do you think healthy wage played a part in your weight loss success? I think it was an incredible, obviously, monetary motivation. But to have that accountability that I'm very productively working towards something like a dual faceted kind of something that obviously I'm going to have a financial reward when I when I reach my goal. But at the same time, I'm repairing and bettering my overall health so much. It's life changing. Mm -hmm. What would you say to somebody who they are an emotional eater and eating food, and especially going through a pandemic, girl? Yep. So right. what would you say to a person who's just like, they're just trying to survive and food helps them, but it really doesn't. I would say that there are so many things in life worth living for that you have to find a passion that's going to help you realize that turning to food is, is not going to put you where your happiness lies. And to keep with what we're passionate about, whether it's connecting with family, your job, your hobbies, whatever it is, to let that be a an amazing source of happiness and just um, passion, you'll very soon realize that, you know, the happiness that and pleasure that you seek from the food that you've been eating is not providing that for you. And as simple as it can be sometimes, like I try to stay out of the kitchen as much as possible. The top three things you would tell people that helped you be successful in taking back your health and losing weight. The big thing, first and foremost, was educating myself and learning about what I'm doing and why, like the purpose and everything. So educating yourself on your process, whatever it is, whether it's fasting, um, keto, whatever method that you've got, know it inside, outside, but don't feel like it's got to be like hard, fast, 
make it something, it's got to be something where it's sustainable and that those small incremental changes that you're uh, making for yourself each day are going to add up and that they can be sustainable. Um, and my third and most, I feel like the biggest, most heaviest one is to have an open, loving mindset with yourself. Having that self-love, respect, dedication, compassion, focus, fire, any, all those, all those combined, combined with that why, and it just, it's going to keep you so strong, steadfast, powerful on that journey that nothing, nothing um, will be able to wreck you off of it. Well, you lost Vicky 150 pounds. Yes. Um, healthy wage and yep. you were $2,021. Yep. You look so awesome, but not Thank even you. more so than what you look like. Like I said, the joy that emanates from your body is mm -hmm. so cool. You affect a generation after you. You affect yep. your kids and their kids and yeah. your, your family because they see that you did it. Yep. So yep. I just want to say thank you so much. If you had to thank say you. anybody to anybody who's going, okay, should I go with healthy wage? Should I not? Mm -hmm. What would you say? I would say absolutely go with Healthy Wage. They are a phenomenal group of people that truly, truly care about each and every person that joins the challenge to challenge themselves. It's a phenomenal group of people that obviously you're, you're putting the money on what goals that you're going to accomplish. And it's not if, it's when. And when. just stick with it. You, you and your life are so worth what goals you have for yourself. And like I said, educating yourself, um, keeping that passionate, keeping that passion and not giving into negative self-talk, like just being open and loving and understanding with yourself is so important. And, you know, losing over 200 pounds now with this lifestyle, there's, there's no going back. This is, ah, this is my daily life. Thank you so much. Vicky. Thank you. And talking about healthy wage. And I think giving people more information, how and how it works and why it's yep. such a good idea because they are you're right it's a great company they care they give you a lot of tools yep. and support is wonderful that was vicky sharon who was a healthy wage winner she won two thousand twenty one dollars she lost over 150 pounds from 370 pounds. Thank you so much guys for sticking in there with me and talking to Vicky and learning more about Healthy Wage. And if you wanna know more, you can go to at Healthy Wage on Instagram, on Facebook. And if you want to join me on my journey of taking control of uh, your health and losing weight and you get to win money. So it's a six month commitment and it's at least 15 pounds that you have to lose. And it's not, if you win the money, it's when you win the money. So you can go to healthywage.com slash Sherry to join in on the fun. And you can be like Vicky or you could be like you. And, you know, you just get that joy.